Boom. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to the Plot Malaysia. Uh, so, yeah, guys, we have a really interesting topic of discussion today. Uh, Jamie Carragher, obviously, you guys know Liverpool uh, came out victors 4 0 yesterday against Bournemouth away from home. Check out my review uh, of the match as well, my player ratings. Uh, but yeah, uh, great victory, an unbelievable second half performance, a lot of absences, a lot of injuries, and Liverpool came out on top uh, and, and really played re and, and played really, really well. But yeah, I think after the game is where the real debate started. So some, a really interesting point brought up by Jamie Carrigan. I wanted to discuss that today. I want your thoughts as well, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, and yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. But yeah, the discussion today uh, is... Is, is, is been, has been started. It's a debate that's been started by Jamie Carragher, and I think it's a very, very relevant debate. I've spoken about it at times as well. But yeah, the question is, is Diogo Jota, got a lot of praise yesterday, man of the match performance, Jamie Carragher says he's Liverpool's best ever finisher in Premier League history. Now, that's some statement. Jamie's played with the likes of Fernando Torres, Luis Suarez, Michael Owen, Robbie Fowler. Uh, he's obviously commentated a ton on Mo Salah as well, and he says he's better than a lot. Uh, the only one who possibly pips him is Robbie Fowler, or God, as we all know him. Uh, but yeah, so that's what he says. He's the most clinical finisher uh, in Liverpool Premier League history. So I wanted this debate as well. Uh, and I, I decided to do this small episode today, this short episode today, to discuss this as well. Uh, and put forth some facts, some stats. Uh, and is he really... Liverpool's best best ever Premier League finisher. So we'll have that discussed today. But before we start, guys, there's only one place. Before we get into the nitty gritty uh, about this discussion, we've got to uh, we've got to start uh, with a song with Diogo Jota's chant. Oh, he wears the number twenty. He will take us to victory. And when he's running down the left wing, he'll cut inside and score for LFC. He's alive from Portugal. Better than Figo, don't you know? Oh, his name is Diogo. Oh, he wears the number 20. He will take us to victory. And when he's running down the left wing, he'll cut inside and score for LFC. He's a lad from Portugal. Better than Figo, don't you know? Oh, his name is Diogo. <laughs> All right, guys. So now that we've got the chant out of the way, Possibly the best chant out there, actually, right there, after Season North for me. And maybe Ale, Ale, Ale. But yeah, what a song. Uh, what a chant. Uh, so yeah, once we've got, now we've got that out of the way, let's talk about Diogo Jota. Now, in my opinion, I've always said this, uh, Diogo Jota is the best finisher we have at the club right now. I think he's a better finisher. He's a more clinical finisher than Mo Salah as well. Uh, if you look at his goals per minute ratio this season, he's obviously had injuries, uh, which have curtailed a lot of his previous seasons as well. But he's, in general... When you talk about someone to break a deadlock, he scored a lot of first goals for Liverpool over the years, the opening goal. He scores a lot of winning goals for Liverpool as well. And generally, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, if you would like, let's say the Champions League final, if you'd like the ball uh, to fall to any player who's running down, bang down goal one-on-one, -on -one, and you'd have you'd bet your house on it, really, it would probably be Diogo Jota for me, and then Mo Salah, and then the, and then the other strikers. I would have Jota over Salah. Bearing down one on one, and that's 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 how much I think uh, that's how much I rate him as a finisher. Uh, so that's my opinion as well. So I decided to Jimmy Carragher brought up the point, and he's obviously compared him not just to the likes of Salah in the current crop, but Torres, Suarez, Fowler, Owen, etc. So went through the stats really. Mm. Uh, so let's start with uh, Fernando Torres. Fernando Torres, 102 uh, Premier League games for Liverpool, 65 goals uh, in all competitions, 142 goals. 142 appearances, 81 goals. Now that, I'm doing my maths right now, guys. That is pretty much goal every half a game or so. Every couple of games. Um, slightly more than a uh, goal every couple of games uh, for Fernando Torres in all competitions. Luis Suarez stats. Premier League, 110 appearances, 69 goals. In all competitions, 132 appearances, 82, goal, 82 goals. So his goals per minutes ratio. Uh, and game, goals per games ratio is actually better than Fernando Torres, Luis Suarez. Uh, but yeah, obviously, so uh, those are the two we really look up to in the in, in, in the last 10 or 15 years for Liverpool. Uh, now, obviously, the big man, Mo Salah himself. Mo Salah stats, Premier League 
uh, gained 238, far more than the other 251 goals. Now, that's phenomenal in terms of uh, goals per games. Obviously, bear in mind, he did take penalties. Suarez and Torres didn't. Salah does take out penalties as well. Uh, in all competitions, 204 goals and 332 appearances. Uh, so that's pretty phenomenal, really. Uh, Robbie Fowler got himself 128 goals and 266 Premier League appearances. Uh, and then in all competitions, 183 goals and 369 uh, appearances. So now I've got those numbers out of the way. I decided to take it to Diogo Jota. Now, Diogo Jota has 38 goals and 91 appearances. So if you just look at it, pure, and, and, and 52 goals and 135 appearances in all competitions, now if you just look at it purely on those numbers, uh, he's nowhere near Fernando Torres, Luis Suarez, Salah, or Fowler in terms of goals per games. But I think when you talk about clinical and how clinical he is, uh, Jota operates, you've got to keep in mind, a lot of these players I mentioned, Salah aside, obviously playing down the right, but Jota has played, he plays every position really, he plays down the middle, sometimes he plays down the left, now he plays down the right. Uh, he's been rotated around uh, as well, uh, where Suarez, Torres, Robbie Fowler played right through the middle at all times. So you've got to take that into consideration as well. And then I think what Carragher is really referring to here is the clinical nature, his shot conversion. Now, if you look at shot conversion rates, Diogo Jota is actually the best uh, in Premier League era for Liverpool. Uh, in terms of shot conversion rate, he's phenomenal. Uh, so that's what I found out now. Uh, I look at that and I think I'm not surprised. I've always said Diogo Jota reminds me of Robbie Fowler. He reminds me so much of Robbie Fowler in terms of stature, in terms of how clever he is. He's a good presser from the front, but he's a smart footballer. And Robbie Fowler was as well. Diogo Jota is not fast. Uh, he's probably our slowest attacker, really. Uh, he doesn't have speed, but he's got speed of thought. Uh, he's quick up here. Uh, he's a really, really smart footballer. A lot like Robbie Fowler. He makes some great runs. He times his runs well. He's stronger than he looks. Uh, He's two-footed. He scores with his right foot, with his left foot, and with his head as well. Robbie Fowler has. Robbie Fowler got goals with his head, right foot, and left foot. Uh, Stature-wise, similar to Robbie Fowler. Both really clinical. You bet the house on them when they're through bearing down on goals. So he reminds me a lot of Robbie Fowler. And I think Jamie Carragher's point about Fowler just pipping him, probably right. Fowler was clinical. I mean, he was the most natural finisher in, in, in English football. Uh but yeah, Jota is not far behind in my opinion. I think he's really clinical and he's a really good finisher. And I think that bears it out, the fact that he's got the best shot conversion rate uh, at Premier League history for Liverpool. Uh, now, there's another interesting fact about this season, purely this season. Um, best, uh, best goals uh, per minutes uh, ratio uh, purely this season. Uh, and Diogo Jota comes in rank third, actually. Uh, number one is Erling Haaland, who everyone waxes lyrical about. Uh, Salah comes in at number two, and then Jota has a goal every 84 minutes that he plays on the pitch. Now, that's phenomenal. Uh, that's what he's averaging this season. Uh, he's also contributing with assists as well. The assists he played to Nunes yesterday, fantastic. So to me, I mean, Carragher's, re Carragher's got a really valid point. It's a debate. It's going to rage on, I think, a little bit as well. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. But in my opinion, he does have a valid point. Now, Torres, Suarez, Salah, like I said, the numbers... Uh, will tell you that they were far ahead. But Jota, in terms of how clinical he is, in terms of his shot conversion rate, and in terms of uh, his all-round finishing ability, the fact that he's right-footed, left-footed, scores with his head. Fernando Torres was very much predominantly right-footed. Suarez right-footed. Salah left-footed. Uh, but the one he reminds me so much of is Robbie Fowler. Left foot, right foot, with his head as well. And that's why he's a, he's a full all-round package when it comes to finishing. Uh, that's the reason why I really put him on par with Robbie Fowler as probably our most clinical and most natural finisher in Premier League, Premier League history. But yeah, let me know your thoughts as well, guys. Um, uh, and yeah, like I said, uh, we'll come back with more content in the upcoming weeks as well. Uh, but yeah, do like the video, do subscribe. Uh, and yeah, uh, we'll, we'll come back very, very soon uh, with more content. In the meantime, cheers.